Welcome one and all to this special edition of Wrestling Showdown. It's Hogmanay. That's New Year's Eve if you're not Scottish. And let me first of all say thank you for coming out to see us last week in Kinghorn and Broxburn. I'm sure you had an awesome time because again, as you know, nothing quite beats seeing WCL live and in person. Now, because this is the last edition of Wrestling Showdown of 2017, we thought what better way to round out our year here on Wrestling Showdown than with one of the biggest matches that we could possibly bring you. We're going to see a defence of the W3L Heavyweight Championship. Blondie Barrett has a tough task ahead of him. As I'm sure you saw in our historic live edition of Showdown, he caused some chaos in the one contenders tournament, took advantage of a weakened Kevin Williams and got the victory to retain the title. This week, he's facing a former heavyweight champion in the form of Joe E. Legend. Legend is no stranger to holding the main championship in W3L. He's no stranger to controversy as well. But has Joe E. Legend got what it takes to become a two-time heavyweight champion. Will Blondie Barrett's championship reign end before it has barely begun? Let's find out as we head to ringside for this New Year's Eve contest here on Wrestling Showdown. Are you people just listen to me? Are you people just
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Forte seeing through on Wrestling Showdown. And we have a huge match to end 2017. The Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The Rock and Roll Express, Blondie Barrett, all in black in the foreground. Taking on the black singleted Joe E. Legend and Barrett going straight to the floor. Pretty much uh, par for the course of him, I think we'll agree. I'm sure if we were both of these men, they'd appear to show down at a live event countless times. And uh, some animosity between the two. If you watched our live edition of Showdown back in November, you'll know that Julia Legend was part of that number one contenders tournament. He had the unenviable task of having to wrestle Mike Musso in the second opening round match. Barrett, the heavy champion, still at that point, uh, interfered. His legend was reminding him that he's there. Uh, Barrett interfered, caused a double disqualification, so legend didn't advance in the tournament. Barrett would go into face Kevin Williams and uh, cheat to defeat him, it has to be said. So Legend's annoyed that he got knocked out of the tournament. The management were more than happy to put this together. This contest, I mean, Legend, a former heavyweight champion himself. Barrett should no fear. Legend's a huge reputation, I think so does Barrett. And Legend not backing down for a moment. And you know, this is. Some people have deemed this something of a, a clash of styles, it's worlds colliding. Of course Blondie Barrett is part of the, the British world of sport era back in the heyday of it being on television and being the number one sport in the country you could argue. And he's kept going and Barrett still wrestles to this day, he faces a variety of opponents, he's as sharp as ever he was and he's just become more cunning and I look back over 2017 I'll prove that. Legend he, of course, being of Canadian origin, um, it was more uh, an American, like, catch-as-catch-can style. Uh, dare I, I argue he was part of the, uh, the Attitude Era in the late 90s, early 2000s. And he wrestled regularly all over the world, so approaching something like 50 countries he's competed in. And uh, most weekends, he's out wrestling somewhere on the planet. So, uh, two very different ideologies, two very different styles. And you may think this will be a clash, it won't work so well, but I, I beg to differ as Legend backs Barrett in the ropes and cleanly breaks. Both men are familiar with each other's styles, although not with each other, they've never wrestled before. Barrett has faced the best this country has to offer, he knows the contemporary style that Legend uses. Legend for his part, however, when he's wrestled many exponents of the British style. Look at this, Barrett with a handful of that hair just backs him at the corner, Barrett happy to cheat however possible and again lock up right back in the corner but the strength of legend sends Barrett flying and puts in the side headlock. Now we've seen what legend can do when it comes to trying to win or retain a heavyweight title, the amount of people that have been sent on stretchers how violent he's been with various opponents, referees, ring announcers, wrestlers, you name it, he's knocked them all out. So I don't know if he's quite going to employ those tactics, he's had a change of heart in 2017. He's realised that maybe having to support the fans isn't so bad and they've taken to him. He's become quite popular, surprisingly popular if you consider his past histories. And I think it's testament to Legends burgeoning popularity also <laughs> just how much they dislike Blondie Barrett as well. I mean he seemed to have turned over a new leaf, he saw it right here in Shodan earlier in the year, he's seen the error of his ways, he used the fan support to ingratiate himself with management, of course he won seven deadly sins back in May. He then went on to Resolution where uh, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame just back in November at Resolution 11. So he threw it with the in the corner with his, his foot right in the throat. In the heavyweight championship match, he got the title away from James Scott by beating Nathan Reynolds, who was in the, the triple threat, hitting him in the head with a chair. So Barrett's no stranger to cheating and using four no jigs. Just ask Kevin Williams. He took powder in his eyes to retain the title and 
our live edition of Showdown. And Legend, is he going for the arm again? And if you remember, before the match started, when both of them were jawjacking over the microphone, Legend said they might put Barrett to sleep. I don't know if we'd have done that with uh, that particular hole, but certainly would have made it more difficult for uh, Barrett to use his arm. But um, he's certainly putting his shoulder to good use, ramming it in the midsection of Joey Legend. It's interesting uh, to see how both men employ their styles against each other. Legend, more of a brawler. Barrett can brawl as well, of course, but he's more of a, a, a how would you describe it? A technical brawler in some ways. He doesn't necessarily do a lot of scientific technical holds. A lot of kind of jabs and strikes, but you know, again, as I, I said in the live edition of Showdown, he spent four decades wrestling, so he knows exactly where to hit you and exactly how much pressure to apply. Every strike hits with accuracy. He doesn't have to hit you a lot of times and hit you hard. He can hit you with one weaker, if you like, strike to a, a pressure point. Look at this. It's like some pantomime villain racing across the ring and he takes Legend of Maybe that's one of Legend's detriments. Now that he's got the crowd in his side and he's somewhat playing to them, has he maybe been taking his eye off the ball now and again? Thomas Kevin's warning Barrett about using the ropes. Again, Barrett's never met a rule that he didn't like to break. And he's got a foot right across the throat again trying to cut the air off to Legend's lungs and slow him down. He was going to say earlier on, again you may think that Barrett bringing that world of sports there, which he can employ certain holds and Set moves and certain tactics that you aren't necessarily familiar with if you're a more modern or I don't use the word younger, a more contemporary wrestler because in some ways that style sadly is quite antiquated. Not everybody does it anymore. But Legend's no stranger to it. Legend wrestled all over Europe. But hang on, he folds up Barrett. Now that was a, a perilous to close fall. Good move by Legend to counter it, but he just gets thumbed in the eye. I led to Swell Time Wrestling in Japan as well. If you know your history of a pure wrestler, you'll know that it's pretty much based off um, the British style. Because you know, took British wrestlers to go over there and really establish the, the style, establish the format. Billy Robinson is uh, lauded as a, a legend, a god over in Japan. So, uh, Japanese wrestling has its it's already steeped in, in the UK. But for by that, when you... Oh, look at this arrogant cover here. When you look at who Legend is wrestling, he's faced people like uh, the late Drew McDonald, a WFL Hall of Famer. He's faced Tony Sinclair, Dave Taylor, Robbie Brookside. Even more uh, up-to-date people like Doug Williams and James Mason. Uh, men who maybe aren't part of World of Sport either specifically, but harken back to that style. Legends wrestle guys that do what Barrett does. Maybe not cheat quite as much, but his his style, Legend knows it, so it's not as big a style clash or as big a hurdle for Legend to overcome as you might think. However, Barrett's cheating, doesn't matter what style you employ, there's Japanese, Mexican, American or British, a jab to the throat is a jab to the throat. Legend firing off these fists. He had a stellar run as heavyweight champion, I mean, you can question his methods and his tactics, but, you know, he held the belt for a while. And Barrett popped him up with almost like a flapjack, in, uh, a belly to belly suplex. And I think that took Legend by surprise. He thought he was going overhead and Barrett turned him to the side at the last minute. And Legend may have landed awkwardly on that one. And Barrett. He showed his true colours at Resolution. He had the misfortune, is that the word I want to, to use, of having to uh, commentate alongside him on our live edition of Showdown. Head to WTL Facebook page for that. He certainly made his thoughts clear. Suckered everyone in. Guess a leopard never changed its spots. And face first goes nice and the It's the thing with Barrett, he's been around for so long, he knows everything. 
there's very little you can do that he has not experienced or seen or tasted in the case of those hands of Joey Legends and they start fighting around the building and right at the wall and Barrett's vanished towards the bathroom I think they surely will be able to take a camera in there Legends going after him Thomas Kerrins has chased him as well he's given them some leeway I mean obviously it's not a false cut anywhere Matt so the rest have disappeared not quite sure where they've gone oh they've got another door and Barrett in another wall he ended up taking a seat but not in the way that he would like Again, the referee giving both men a lot of leeway it's New Year's Eve after all what better way to bring in the new year than with a new heavyweight champion that's certainly what Legend's thinking and Legend's had this match going his way since they went to the floor Hang on, a reversal. And Legend run at the post. He may have just got his hands up, but I don't think it offered him much protection. No way to how thick those posts are. This is where Barrett excels when he's got you down. You can just dictate the pace. See again, those strikes. Just these one or two. It is exactly where they placed them. That's what makes Barrett so dangerous. making his thoughts clear during the match surprised he's not asked manager to fit him out one of those radio headset mics so he can talk during his match as well Legend crawling back in the apron I think it's Barrett Barrett has he grabbed the title belt he has but it allows Thomas Kerrins to be distracted and then we see the result of that as Kerrins gets rid of the belt Legend, he seemed to have this match going his way and it's just turned back in Barrett's favour. Barrett spent a, a, a good bit of time uh, trying to get himself in this position to be heavyweight champion. He'd had multiple title opportunities in the past. Had a couple of strong battles against Nathan Mullins, for example. But it took him conning everyone. That's really the best way to put it. And yeah, he's now in the Hall of Fame and his accomplishments in wrestling need certainly he's a worthy Hall of Fame candidate it's just a pity that he feels the need to be breaking every rule oh legend he try and suplex on the floor but Barrett rammed him at the apron knew exactly what he was doing the Blondie Barrett is heavyweight champion just goes to show there's nothing that overcomes experience is there he's got plenty of that it certainly has made him a target. I know that everybody. He's, oh, and he, he runs a chair into him. Thomas Kennan's being lenient here. And that could have been a disqualification, but I guess a judgment call. Kennan doesn't want to end the match quite this way. I don't think maybe Barrett's had some sort of clause put in his contracts for the heavyweight title that the rules have to be somewhat relaxed in his favour. Wouldn't surprise me, quite frankly. Just fighting slightly out of camera range, do apologise. It's hard to keep up with this, they're bouncing all over the building, up, down, up, down. I think Barrett's taking a nasty spill on the floor, courtesy of Joey Legend. And the popular Canadian's back to his feet. And bringing Barrett up, because Barrett is the champion's advantage here. He doesn't need to beat Legend, Legend needs to beat him. So, of course, if the match goes to a double count out, let's say, Barrett's retaining the title. So, Legend needs to get the victory, pinfall, or submission either way. Comes off the ropes and drops the leg. No one quite does it like Joey Legend. This could get him the heavyweight championship. But Barrett's not done yet. Because everybody in WTL now 
aiming themselves at Blondie Barrett. Matches certainly over the next couple of months, I would think, are going to become so important in the singles ranks. Because as you know, we're uh, going to be crowning a, a wrestling showdown champion as well. So, so fans are going to be uh, treated to that. As well as seeing just who it is that's going to step up as the challenger for whoever wins this title. Every single match will become important. Those victories. How you get ranked by management. Because we watch a baited breath. Will Barrett continue his reign as champion? Is Julia Ledge going to become a two time heavyweight champion? What would happen if Legend wins the title again, but this time with the fans on his side? I mean, surely he's not going to be taking a part in a stretcher then, is he? He needs to go into a stretcher himself because he's he's be struggling here, Barrison jumping on his back, weakening him. Oh, and Joey Legend spun round, and Barry with an uncomfortable landing, right at the corner. And an atomic drop and Barrett. And an inverted atomic drop. Well, his voice will have raised an octave. Legend setting up. Missed the clothesline. Barrett just ducked it away. But it took too long. And Legend caught him as he turned around. But so close to the ropes. I think it would be Legend was just trying to get a pinfall in there. Firstly, worrying about where he was. Okay, going for a curb stop. And Barrett, that you see, did everything he could. He tensed the sinews in his arms to try and prevent his head from hitting the canvas. He may not have taken it as badly as Legend would have liked. He may not have gone his head first on the canvas that Legend wanted. But I think it's perhaps rattled him somewhat. And down he went. I don't know if that was just Barrett collapsing there. I don't think Legend actually got to him. Maybe the curb stumps had a delayed effect. Maybe Barrett was trying to avoid what was happening. I can't tell. It resulted in a two count, however. Down at the far corner. Legend setting up that forearm. And he ran at the boot. Oh, hold on, a jackknife press. A foot on the ropes as well. But Thomas Kerrins caught it. And he's not going to allow that. Barrett not happy. On oh, a roll up. Legend could get this one in the bag. But not quite as yet. Okay, one well placed blow from Barrett. Slows Legend's momentum down. Remember, Barrett wrestles regularly, often the tag ranks down in England, but still wrestles regularly, so I mean, it's not like he only comes out of retirement a couple of times a year. He's as sharp as ever. And he gets launched through the air. It's not the fireworks that go flying to the air at New Year, but this year is Blondie Barrett. Come on, let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to end 2017 here, now. We're on the cusp of having a new champion, legend. Has Barrett choking him? And, oh, and Barrett gets an arm on the ropes. And Thomas Kerrins not making the break, kicks it away. And Legend's locked him up with the body scissors. Now, hang on a second. Legend said earlier on he was intending to put him to sleep. And that's, I think, what he's going for. Thomas Kerrins raising the arm. Barrett's been locked up in this hold. Legend's great find is. Uh, is the oh, and Thomas Kerrins! Thomas Kerrin just got kicked low. And the bell's rung. Blondie Barrett was caught in that choke. He caught in the body scissors. He was about to go out. And his foot caught Thomas Kerrin's. And in the most delicate place possible as well. The bell's rung. Uh, we'll need to get an um, official word here, I think. Because I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Thomas Kerrin's has gone down. He's obviously in extreme discomfort 
Barrett's roll to the floor. Legend, I think, has an inevitable realisation as to what has happened, but let's go up to the legendary John Short. Rightly or wrongly, Blondie Barrett still the heavyweight champion. It took a low blow to do it. Who's going to be his next challenger? We'll find it in the weeks to come right here on Wrestling Showdown. Happy New Year, everyone. Blondie Barrett doing once again whatever it takes to retain that heavyweight title. But retain it he does. And the big question must be, Who's going to be his next challenger? When will Joe E. Legend get a rematch? Because you know he's going to want one. You'll find out in the weeks to come here on Wrestling Showdown, and of course by engaging with us online. Because that's a good place to find out what happens as it happens. As I'm sure you know, you can go straight to our website, w3lwrestling.com. Have a look around there. It's got information, everything you could ever need to know about W3L. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Give us a follow on Twitter, join us on Instagram as well. Subscribe to this channel because, of course, that means you'll be notified every time a new edition of Wrestling Showdown goes online. And, of course, use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Showdown whenever you talk about this show. What do you think of Barrett vs. Legend? That was a huge match and a fitting way to round out 2017. What will 2018 have in store? I'm sure more of the things you like, less of the things you dislike, which, I mean, I'm sure that's next to nothing, right? So stick with us, because yes, more fantastic WTL action is coming to you in 2018. We'll be having news about more live events very soon. So ladies and gentlemen, all that remains to be said is thank you for joining me again this week. Thank you for joining me all this year, whether it's in one episode, whether it's been every single edition of Showdown. Thank you for coming to our live events. 2017 has been a tremendous year in W3L. Hopefully next year is going to be even bigger and even better. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great new year. Don't, don't get too drunk. And we will see you all in seven days time for our first edition of Wrestling Showdown of 2018.